like black americans and nigerians have been going head to head online under this video of the video prostrating to his family members this, so this video is not a new video some of you must have seen this video when it was trending at the time however um this um pan-african lifestyle decided to just repost this video like an appreciation post of just cultural heritage and all of that you know just appreciate culture exhibition of culture by the video and everything but some black americans had problems with that in the comment section some were making derogatory and negative remarks and trust nigerians trust your people trust your people anyways the comment section became a battleground in no time <laughs> hey my lovelies welcome back to my channel Okay, again, guys, on another on this episode of my short form videos, um, the video like Black Americans have decided to go to a battle with Nigerians. Like Black Americans and Nigerians have been going head to head online under this video of the video prostrating to his family members this was at an event by the actual event but the video was at an event and was prostrating as per the yoruba tradition of greeting your elders right and it was just an the post was meant to just be an appreciation of culture and how you know despite how how um how modern the world has gotten he still has not forgotten his roots right but somehow it became a battle of wheels in the comment section let me share it with you guys okay we only bow to god as ben said worshiping another human is wild anyway it's their culture not black culture we black americans got nothing to do with this we didn't say you did i think we black americans can do without this aspect of our heritage thank you very much giving undue reverence the person said humans put too much I guess I want to say value in culture. You know how many of those have gone and come? Imagine, I'm sure I wanted to say I've come and gone. <laughs> Anyways, this has not come and gone, right? It has been here for years, for thousands of years. Okay, we said, bro, it's only because he's rich. If he was broke, they wouldn't give him an access to their feet. And someone replied and said, you are not Nigerian. You shouldn't speak on anything you don't know. It's customary for Yoruba men to greet elders that way, rich or poor. I think it's the height of ignorance you know this is such a dumb thing to say it's only because he's rich if he was broke they won't let him touch their feet like how ignorant can you be it is how people just have confidence to make statements like this online when you have zero idea what you're talking about like it's crazy let's continue i really thought africans from from africa love us black folk in america i have heard that you'll be eating on us but from this little debate, um, I see you all got some issues against your own brothers in the diaspora. Hmm. And someone said, you guys inserted yourselves, starting the attacking. Now you're playing victim. I don't know why Americans are having a problem with something that no one in the video does. Especially not having much info on this. Need to be taking notes for real, for real. Uh, okay. Let's normalize making use of Google when we don't understand something. You all in here wilding. Okay. It's called respect for elders. Yoruba language has respect of the elders built in. I guess when they say Yoruba culture has respect of the elders built in. Okay. It, if it's not your culture, respect it and leave it alone. See it for what it is. Learn how we live and observe from a distance. No need for negative commentary. I understand you're American and it's not your culture. But don't condemn it. We revere our elders. Even at our big age with our own children and our own money, nobody's talking out their necks at their adults. Nobody's disrespecting the family because the family is the root of who you are. But all that is lost here. Society in America puts money above all else as king as you got bread you don't have to listen to anyone or respect anyone okay another one is can we all stop going against black people in the united states and black people in africa like stop it this video is about davido respecting his elders how did it get to disrespecting one another let's all come together i know this message isn't gonna get anywhere but at least try well it's on my channel now so you did get somewhere <laughs> okay why are the americans so upset 
and this person replied because we were robbed of this culture and loki we are jealous huh? so i said and the other person replied and said speak for yourself homie you look sorry and person replied again and said and you look irrelevant have a blessed day i love you <laughs> that was such a nice comeback I'm <laughs> it's funny to me you know i don't know i feel like it's imaginary when black americans are always thinking of this thing they hate they, they hate us in africa they, nobody's competing with you guys nobody i feel like this is just another division tactics that the west is pushing don't fall victim i have shared videos with you guys on this channel time and time again where black americans tell you guys that whenever they visit it is opposite of what you guys see online okay so enough of this nonsense please let us respect culture this is yoruba culture of greeting their elders okay i do not understand why some people are getting triggered by seeing people exercise their culture as long as their culture is not robbing people of their rights as long as it is not violating human rights or decency why should you be triggered about where people do their things it is in their culture it is in the yoruba culture to revere their elders to revere their parents it is it is how it is a culture that has been imbibed if that is not your own culture then so be it if if you are not being dragged for how your culture is then do not try to degrade other people's cultures okay because truly i started to see comments where i could see that it was black americans some black americans or at least that claim that they are black americans that started to make derogatory and negative comments and remarks in the comment section and that was when nigerians came for them okay that was when nigerians came for them and then they started to reciprocate and started to try to play the victim like yes we already know you people hate us we already know you people don't like us no no it has nothing to do with them hating you or not liking you it is because you started to make negative commentary and then they responded and fought back okay because so what some of you were, were, were writing was not cool okay nobody hates you there is no there is no fight between uh, nigerians or black americans that does not exist okay people were just responding to comments that some people made on this video which i do which i agree with if you don't understand the culture the next thing you should do is not to downgrade or make derogatory remarks that is that's in fact it's a sign of low intelligence because people of people of remarkable intelligence try to understand okay i'm not going to lie and say i haven't noticed that there is this there is this imaginary um fight that black americans think they are having with africans maybe especially nigerians even but i've mentioned it to you guys on this channel before that this is just a divide and conquer tactic by the west and they are using nigeria because of course nigeria is like so, kind of the front runner right they're using nigeria because obviously nigeria is seen you guys get to interact with them they are the major Majority of your of your nurses in America, of the doctors, of the educated class there. So you guys get to interact with them in positions where, if the care is not taken, you could start to see them as maybe taking something or taking spots away from you and resources. And so, which um, country or which citizens are better to weaponize than Nigerians? So at this point, I feel like they are just trying to weaponize Nigerians against you guys, and you guys are falling for it. Do not fall for it. Nigerians are not competing with anybody but themselves. Whenever they will come to the US, they are just trying to make a name. They are trying to make something of themselves. They are not in competition with you or anybody else. Okay. But this particular response that was given by Nigerians to some who claim they are black Americans was, was well deserved. Because under no circumstances should you degrade or make negative remarks about other people's cultures just because it is not your own culture or because you don't understand it. African American being in Nigeria, I'm going to tell you guys to ignore the internet wars that are going on between Africans and African Americans because at the end of the day, once you step foot onto African soil, which I am right now currently in Nigeria, you will definitely see that none of that internet stuff matters. Everyone here in Nigeria are welcoming they're nice, they're genuine, they're kind. You know, everyone has a hustling, hardworking spirit. And as long as you respect yourself and you respect the people around you, you're going to be good. That's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.